Maverick at Cedar Point is an Intamin designed blitz coaster that opened in 2007. With a max height of just 105 feet, this coaster was a complete 180 of what Cedar Point was striving for just a few years earlier, always trying to beat the record of the tallest, fastest, and sometimes even longest. And this coaster is credited for being the end of the coaster war, a period of time where parks would only strive for records, and with this coaster's small stature still giving an amazing ride experience, it let parks know that you could do amazing things without having to be the tallest, fastest, or longest. As mentioned previously, Maverick opened in 2007 with a max height of 105 feet, a max drop of 100 feet, a length of 4,450 feet of track, a max speed of 70 miles an hour, and along with that it featured two inversions, a beyond vertical drop, and two launches. Despite not being the biggest, it still had some pretty impressive stats and provided an amazing ride experience. As soon as you exit the station, you immediately enter a set of LSM boosters, which effectively act as the coaster's lift hill. You get boosted up at a much faster rate than you would on a traditional chain lift. This is awesome because it gives you tons of speed to fly over that beyond vertical drop, which gives you an incredible amount of sustained airtime. And this is especially true if you ride in the back row because you have that extra speed of the train being pulled down the drop. You then enter a low to the ground right hand turn that sends you through some rock work. You then quickly switch directions and go through a left hand turn, then the same thing to send you back around right. You then enter a very large camelback that provides some great air time just like the first drop. A low to the ground turn then sends you up into a twisted horseshoe roll, a set of corkscrews connected together by a low to the ground turn. These are Maverick's only two inversions. After exiting that, you then enter another low to the ground highly banked curve before entering Maverick's midpoint, which takes place right under the station. You come to a near complete stop before hearing some cool audio and blasting out of the tunnel reaching your max speed of 70 miles an hour. After an upwards turn, you pass through a brief set of trim brakes before swooping down to the right passing over a water feature. A quick S-curve sends you up into your first of two stangle dives, this one under the lift hill. Then you enter your second stangle dive before dropping to the ground, entering one last airtime hill before swerving into the brakes. This concludes your ride experience on Maverick. Maverick is located in the back of Cedar Point, in an area known as Frontier Town, with other great rides like Steel Vengeance, and another ride known as Cedar Creek Mine Ride, but this is definitely the star attraction, or at least it was before 2018. When Steel Vengeance opened, it didn't take away any of Maverick's popularity. In fact, it actually made it more popular, which is pretty crazy to think, since this was already one of the most popular rides in the park. Just like most of the other rides at Cedar Point, Maverick doesn't have a ton of theming, but both the station and queue building have a very western feel to them, and puts you all the way back in the early 1800s. Another note is that Maverick does have Intamin trains with over-the-shoulder restraints. Luckily, it has the soft strap model so you don't get any possible headbanging, and these are still pretty comfortable restraints and trains so I don't really mind them, and as much as I'd love to see this coaster with loud bars, it definitely needs these over-the-shoulder restraints due to its really insane transitions. So what do I give Maverick for a final score? It'll be receiving a 9 out of 10. This is an absolutely phenomenal coaster, and it is one of my favorites in the park, and definitely one of my favorite Intamins. But what do you think of Maverick? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating down below and subscribe to the channel for more roller coaster content here on Hangtime Thrills. And I'll catch you guys next time.